guys, welcome back. Today we are doing something that we have always wanted to do on the channel. We are going to an auction and we're gonna try and buy some golf clubs. No idea if this place even has golf clubs, so this might be just a complete waste of time. But if you're watching this, we probably found some golf clubs because I wouldn't just record randomly. Yeah, we'll meet you there. Oh, this place is gigantic. It's still like two hours away from the actual auction time. Tons of people in here. This should be exciting. Let's look through uh, the stuff. You're allowed to preview everything. Uh, I haven't been to an auction in forever, but you're allowed to preview everything. So we're gonna get a C. If there are any actual golf clubs to get, doesn't look like there's any so far. We got a baseball bat. That's the closest thing we found so far. And a chainsaw. Here we go. Not looking good though. We got an old Bethune Cookman bag, seen better days, and we got an old Power Built bag, but you never know for the clubs. Oh, we got a Vokey wedge. Dang. Mizuno MX200. If that's a full set of those, that's a pretty good deal. Got an old Zebra putter. What else do we got in here? What are this? 910F Titleist 3 wood. If that's a club in there, actually, I'll look at that. Uh, 910D3. These are some pretty nice clubs. Oh, yeah, that is the real 3 wood. Awesome. Can't look too excited though because people are gonna notice that we're uh, we're excited about these. They'll bit us up. What else do we got in here? Whoa, what is that? Yeah, I think this is a full set of the MX200 iron, so we're gonna be low key about it. This bag back here doesn't look as good. It's got an old Callaway Tuttle putter. Um, Pro Trajectory 904, so we're gonna stay away from that bag. But yeah, we're gonna we're definitely going for this. Oh, it's got a goofy looking. Oh, it's got a 975D in there. I think I have too many of those, but if it's in the, the lot, we'll go for it. Old baffler. Oof. Looking good, Ash. Looking good. Got a guy over there scoping out our stuff, looking stuff up on eBay. Got a full-on cart bag over here. Some more 910D3. That's two of those in the same place. Looks like different people's uh, clubs, though. Got RBZ Hybrid, RBZ Driver, Nike Covert 3 Wood. That's probably a Covert Driver. Ashley is uh, dangling this bit. This is like the Orange Whip. Those things are like 100 bucks. Let's, uh, yeah. What else we got? Vokey Wedge. There's some good stuff here. Old Jack Nicholas McGregor Muirfield Edition Irons. That two iron. I don't think I can hit that. That thing looks uh, pretty brutal. What do we got in there, Ash? Oh, ball, uh, retriever. ball retriever. Oh, it's one of those custom fitting uh, bags, I think. This is supposed to be like all Cobra clubs, custom fittings. That's kind of cool. Got some uh, R11 tailor-made shafts. Probably go good with, uh, yeah, this looks like a three wood length. Alignment sticks. I think we got stuff to work with. If we don't get the clubs back over there, I feel like that's gonna go for way cheaper than these ones, just because the uh, bag's pretty. So people are probably gonna bid this one up, but I think we're gonna go for the other bag. So the cake lady, uh, she has a store right next to the place and she cooks food for the uh, auction. Ashley's gonna try it out for us. This was uh, $4 for some baked ziti. Pretty good, pretty good. I got some jambalaya, which was $4. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try that out. Dang, that's good. Got some andouille sausage, some rice. This uh, whole auction thing is gonna work out even if we don't get anything. Gotta visit the cake lady. Plus you can't shop hangry. All right, Ashley, what's the strategy for the, uh, the old bidding process here at the auction? We gotta go in there with the price so we don't go crazy. Yeah. Our budget, I'd say like 75 to probably do them to like 150 on the first one. There's yeah. enough good stuff. I think those there. Mizuno irons could probably get $100 alone. The 910 D3 yeah. driver, that could probably do good. Second bag, it's probably gonna go for more just because of the bag, like yeah. we said. I'm guessing probably 150 to 200 for that. You could probably cover your uh, expenses there, but I don't know if you're gonna make that much money. I think the Still third, got the ZD? Yeah, I think the third one's gonna go for a lot because the bag looks nice. I think it's totally Oh, nice. that was what I was talking about, the second one. Oh, okay. The, the first, yeah, the power build bag and then the Cobra oh. bag. The uh, the other bag, I don't think it's gonna go for anything. Oh, there was nothing good in there. I was trying to figure out where you're coming from, 150. <laughs> <laughs> See, now we're on the same page, so you don't go crazy when I bid a, a ton of money on that last bag. <laughs> Ashley saved the day for us. We almost forgot to yeah. register and get a number. 226, how are you feeling about the number? Lucky? It's a good number. It's a good number. I think we're good. Well, guys, we're getting started here. I'm getting so excited for a rocking chair that I don't even want. They got it. $80 for a rocking chair. That's pretty awesome. I believe there's some good gloves in here. 
Here we go. He's looking at the clubs. He's got the orange whip out. Looks like an RBZ driver. He thinks they're high dollar. Let's see what they go for. This is the Cobra bag that we talked about. They wouldn't help my golf Boom, we got it. Hundred fifty five dollars. Sixty five. <laughs> two two six. What did we get it for? Hundred and sixty five? I don't know, I'm sweating. One fifty five. Okay. I didn't even know what we got it for, guys. <laughs> I was just going so it's been basically a week since we bought these. The course has been closed this entire time. Lots of rain, but we're excited to try them out to say the least. Just looking at them for a week has been bothering me. So we're out on the course, we're gonna try them out. As I do that, Ashley's gonna look up the values. We're gonna total them up at the end, see if we got a good deal. There are a lot more fees than I thought there were going to be. There's a 13% buyer fee. Uh, there was 6.5% sales tax. So we ended up spending $185, I think. We're gonna tally everything up at the end and then see if it was just a better deal to buy stuff on eBay or if we got a good deal at the auction. First hole here is 500 and something yards. I don't know. I'm gonna hit a driver, Nike Covert driver. I'm gonna hit it. Ashley's gonna tell you how much it's worth. Got a Kuro Cage shaft. And we're just playing the balls that were in the bag. They're like 10 Pro V. So uh, yeah, off to a good start. Oh, that was a perfect ball flight. How much is this going for? 40 bucks. 40 bucks, not bad. I think I'd play it for 40 bucks. That's why I think it's going in the bag. <laughs> well, hopefully the three wood is just as good because I dropped this and messed up the paint job. So I guess this one's mine now. How much is this going for, Ash? The uh, Nike Covert VRS Tour? 35, so it's almost as much as the driver because it's a tour edition. Let's see if it's tour worthy. Did that carry the trees? Undetermined. I think I just hit into the trees, so. Like the driver better than the three wood, but $35, $40, we're off to a good start. All right, my ball actually managed to go over the trees. It was way downwind, which I'm sure you guys can hear with the microphone, but uh, got lots of options for the wedges. I'm not gonna hit all of them. Got a old Vokey that's seen better days. That's probably not worth anything. Uh, we got a 52 degree Vokey spin milled. What's that going for, Ash? 30. 30 bucks, not bad. Actually just sold this one in an oil can Vokey. 58 degrees, the exact same model. This one's actually in better condition. I sold it for $40, so we'll say $40. And a Rocket Blades 55 degree sand wedge. Also going for 40. Also going for 40, so uh, yeah. I'm gonna hit this one, I've never hit it before, so uh, let's see if we can put it close. Even you can putt from there. Next up, we got some McGregor Jack Nicholas Muirfield Edition irons, two iron through pitching wedge. These things look buttery. Got some nice uh, Lampkin cross line grips on there. I uh, just tried to hit a giant slice into a huge right to left win. It stayed straight, but uh, yeah, felt good. How much is that going for, Ash? $100 for the full set. $100 for the full set. That's a pretty good deal. All right, John's going with the Vokey oil can, which was $40. I think we already told you that, though. With a nice flop shot. That was completely useless. <laughs> but fun. All right, rather than waste any time in the wind here, let's just go through the rest of the uh, clubs. We got Titleist 910 D3, 9.5, extra stiff, all D-Law. I think this is the uh, RIP shaft. What are we getting for that, Ash? 60 bucks. 60 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. We got an RBZ Tour 4 Hybrid. I think this is a Stage 2 Rescue. Uh, what are we getting for that stock shift, stiff shaft? 35. 35, then we have a Ladies 5 Wood over here, RBZ Stage 2. What are also we getting? Also 35. 35, I think we're uh, catching a trend right here. What else do we have to look at? Uh, the, shaft. the shafts, yep. We got the uh, Kuro Cage, this is a tailor-made uh, tip Kuro Cage. What is this? Regular Flex 
Um, we didn't look that up, but I'd say you probably get 20 to 30 bucks. So these things really depend on just like finding the right buyer. You're gonna hold on to them for a long time, so it's easier just to sell them for pretty cheap. Uh, next one, we got an R11S, uh, another Aldi Law rip. This is the Phenom, regular flex. This grip has seen better days, so I'm gonna guess like 10 bucks maybe. So uh, not the best. You got some alignment sticks. There's a bunch of Pro V1s in the bag, so we're not gonna count that though. But I think the most expensive thing that we got is actually this orange whip, the compact. It was hilarious seeing that lady try and test it out in the uh, beginning. Yeah, she, had she was no like, idea. yeah, she was like demoing the stuff in front of the audience. <laughs> uh, this looks like it's got some wear. It's got the plastic on it. We'll just say use, so we don't get a bad feedback review if we end up selling this but uh ashley what's that going for even use 60 bucks that's why i knew this one was like the ringer if you don't play golf you have no idea what this is and if you do play golf you have no idea why it's so expensive yeah that's probably why the guy that you elbowed out of the way uh, didn't pick up the bag <laughs> he didn't see that this was there so uh the bag it's actually a cobra custom fit bag so it's not really worth that much but we can probably if we wanted to sell it uh we'll probably just use it for storage if we wanted to sell it probably get 30 or 40 bucks yeah. so uh ashley what's the total Total, uh, so far 560, but counting the 180 plus probably about $40 worth of eBay fees, we're going to make $340 worth of profit. That's gonna do it guys. Let us know if you liked this video, if you wanna see us go to auctions. Uh, I think we would recommend this. If you have like auctions around you, you don't have to travel that far. Uh, and you're not too particular about your clubs i would go this route rather than ebay obviously because we priced it out and ebay was more expensive so well and you can actually at least touch and see the quality yes so. you can touch and see the quality so that's a pretty good deal but uh ebay has way more to choose from obviously so if you want to choose your clubs <laughs> yeah go that way but hope you like this video hit subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time